okay so i guess i'm live and uh, yeah hey hello my dear students how are you all i hope that everybody is in the best of their health and i welcome you all here i had the very amazing platform and academy so we are here to ace our term to examinations with an academy plus now what is an academy plus and how it can help you to score well in your examinations we will be knowing but before that let's know about me so i am ritika a chemistry educator on an academy i have completed my engineering in electronics and communication and have been awarded competent leader by toastmasters international I will also be awarded grade A by Cambridge English EOSL and right now I'm over here to teach you chemistry. I hope that you all are here and grab your pen and paper because today we are going to have a very important session on a very important topic of your term to examination, right? And what is that topic? Let me tell you, it is metallurgy. So today, as you know, uh, we, uh, you know, metallurgy is a very uh, crucial topic for your term to examinations. In that, we will be uh, seeing a particular topic, which is extraction of aluminium. So I hope you all are very much ready with that. Let's quickly get started. Okay. Now, before starting, students, I'm having a bit of information which is pretty important for all of you. So, students, you can follow the channel An Academy Champions on Telegram. The link of this channel it is given to you in the description box. Now, students, why to follow this channel? Because uh, it is here that you will be getting the daily updates of all the YouTube sessions which are going on. Then you will be getting the updates of all these special classes which are free of cost. Okay, so everybody can watch them on the app that is an academy learner app. And also you will be getting the uh, information about all the offers and discounts that are going on at an academy. So to stay updated, it's uh, you know very important for you to follow the an academy champions. The link of this particular channel it is given to you in the description box. Okay, and please subscribe us on YouTube. Let's target a thousand subscribers, which is only possible by the amazing students. So, if you like this video, kindly press on like button, subscribe it, press the bell icon, and also share this video to maximum uh, students so that they can also take the advantages of the amazing sessions which go on here at an academy. Now let's quickly start with our chapter, okay? And since we are learning about extraction of aluminium, we are learning it in the uh, uh, metallurgy. So let's know what is metallurgy, okay? Now, you know the metals which we uh, get for various purposes, they are not, you know, provided to us in the actual state that we see. Okay, so they have to go uh, in, under various processes to be available as ready to use. Okay, so this whole process which is, you know, used for extracting the metals in, and, you know, uh, converting them into their pure form, okay, from their ores, it is referred to as metallurgy. Okay, now, uh, this particular branch of science, okay, this uh, involves the metal extraction, the refining, okay, the cleaning processes and at the last when we have the pure metal, okay, that is uh, what we are using for various purposes. So, this whole process, it is defined as metallurgy. Hope the definition is very much clear to you, okay. Now we will be starting with aluminium. So the symbol of aluminium, it is Al. Okay, let's know a bit about the uh, element that we are going to see the extraction method of. The symbol is Al. The relative atomic mass of aluminium is 27. The color of aluminium, you will be getting it in a kind of silvery white. So, it has got a silvery white color. The atomic number of aluminium, it is 30. 
And since it is 13, the electronic configuration, it goes like 2, 8, 3. So, that means it has got how many electrons in the outermost shell? It has got 3 electrons in the outermost shell. And the valency, it is 3. So, aluminum, it is placed in period 3 and group 3rd A. That is group number 13. Okay. So, this is the position of aluminum. Okay. Aluminum, as you know, that it is, you know, the most abundant metal in the earth's crust. So, we have aluminum iron. These are the most, you know, abundant uh, metals which are present in the earth's crust. And since aluminum is very reactive, so we do not find them, uh, find it in the free state. Now, what's the relation between being reactive and, you know, not being able to find in the free state? Let us see. See, if there is any element which is reactive, what it will do? It won't be, you know, stable, okay, in the normal state. It will try to react with different, different substances. Like, it will try to form the carbonates or oxides or hydrides, etc. Right? Now, since aluminum, it is reactive, so what does it do? It tries to form various compounds. And because of, you know, the formation of various compounds, we do not find it in the free state. So, how do we find aluminum then? So, aluminum, it is extracted from the main ore, which is known as, so main ore of aluminum, it is bauxite. Okay, and the formula of bauxite, just a minute, yeah, the formula of bauxite, it is Al2O3.2H2O. Now, it's not that only this is the, uh, you know, ore of aluminum, there are many, but from this ore, we can get the aluminum, the pure aluminum, okay, and we can get the maximum quantity out of it. So, it contains about... 60% of aluminum oxide and what is other the other quantity it is of sand of some dust of ferric oxide titanium oxide etc okay so these are the other things which are found in oxide Okay, so the main 60% uh, it is uh, of aluminum oxide. <coughs> the other things which are present in bauxite is sand, the ferric oxide, the titanium oxide, etc. Now, first of all, the concentration of ore, this is the process that any ore needs to undergo first. So, the concentration of ore, it is done by chemical method. Okay, so we go for chemical method for the concentration or purification. Okay, now let's talk about purification of bauxite ore. Now this is a very important uh, process from your examination point of view also. So purification of bauxite ore or we can also say that it is the conversion of bauxite ore into alumina. So, what are we doing over here? We are converting this ore that we have into alumina. Okay. Now, let us see what is the process to purify the bauxite ore and what are the processes, you know, that the ore has to undergo to be converted into alumina. So, first, what happens is we have bauxite. It is finely grinded like into powdered form, right? So it is finely grinded and heated. Now, why is this process undertaken? It is to remove all the volatile impurities. So that, you know, the impurities which is having low... Uh, melting boiling points they just get removed okay so to remove the volatile impurities we are grinding the bauxite and then we are heating it 
okay now after that what happens it is heated we are heating this under pressure so what is the pressure value okay so it is heated under pressure and what is the thing that we heat it with it is with concentrated caustic soda that is sodium hydroxide okay and the timing it is approximately 2 to 8 hours so you can see how long durations the ores they need to be you know undergone through various processes so that we can get the pure metal in our hand so it is heated under pressure with a uh, caustic soda for 2 to 8 hours and the temperature it is maintained at 140 to 150 degree celsius now this process it is known as what leaching okay so if a question can be asked that what is leaching so you can say that the heating of the bauxite ore under pressure with concentrated sodium hydroxide okay uh, two, 2 to 8 hours and temperature being 140 to 150 degree celsius it is known as leaching now what is the reaction between uh, sodium hydroxide and the bauxite happening let us see so we have here aluminium oxide okay it is being heated with caustic soda so what do we get we get sodium meta aluminate plus 3h2 now we have got a compound which is known as sodium meta aluminate right now this bauxite it actually dissolves and it forms sodium meta aluminate because of the empathetic nature of aluminum and it remain it leaves some of the uh, impurities which are not very soluble behind and it is called red mud now red mud what are the contents of red mud and what do we find in red mud it contains basically ferric oxide sand and some of the dust particles and these are removed by which method filtration okay so let us see what did we uh, do till here we took the bauxite ore we finally grinded it that is you know we converted it into the powdered form and we heated it so on heating what happened is all the volatile impurities it got removed then we heat it with concentrated sodium hydroxide for approximately 2 to 8 hours under 140 to 150 degree centigrade now this process it is referred to as leaching okay and this is the reaction which takes place okay now what happens is this bauxite it actually dissolves okay and it forms sodium meta aluminate okay why because of the amphotheric nature of aluminium and it leaves behind the insoluble impurities which contains basically ferric oxide sand etc and these impurities they are removed by the process of filtration right okay after that what happened let us see so on diluting sodium meta aluminate with water and when we cool it again approximately to 50 degrees celsius it gets hydrolyzed to give aluminium hydroxide as a precipitate now let us see what is the reaction happening so when we take the sodium meta aluminate that is an aalo2 and we dilute it with water okay what do we get we get sodium hydroxide plus aluminium hydroxide and this aluminium hydroxide it is given as a precipitate okay now what are we doing after that this is the precipitate that we have got okay aluminium hydroxide now this aluminium hydroxide this precipitate we filter it we wash it dry it 
and then we ignite it at approximately 1000 degrees Celsius to get what alumina. Now see we have taken this aluminium hydroxide. Okay. Now it is first of all we filter it, we wash it, dry it and then we heat it approximately at 1000 degrees Celsius to get Al2O3 plus 3H2O. Okay, so this is alumina. I hope things are clear till here. Okay, now the filtrate which contains sodium hydroxide. Okay, so what happens over here? Okay, the filtrate which contains sodium hydroxide, we again, uh, you know, use it to extract the aluminium from bauxite. Okay, I hope things are very much uh, clear till here whatever we have studied now what happens after this process let us see now since aluminium oxide it is a very stable compound because uh, of its greater affinity for oxygen now there are some basic reducing agents right like carbon or carbon monoxide or hydrogen so uh, aluminium being a very stable compound it cannot be reduced by these agents so then we need to you know switch on to a powerful method for reduction and therefore we use electrolytic reduction so here a question can be asked that why cannot aluminium oxide be reduced by carbon carbon monoxide or hydrogen so that uh, it could be asked in give reasons so this will be your answer that because of its greater affinity for oxygen it forms a very stable compound and therefore we cannot easily reduce it and we need to switch on to a powerful method uh, that is the electrolytic reduction okay so i guess things are clear till here and now we will be moving forward but before that i am having a very 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 important information for all of you and why am i saying that it is very because it's the last day for this offer now an academy it has you know always been giving out some of the amazing offers for its learners right so same way uh, on january 25th to january 27th when offer was rolled out but now today since it's january 27th it becomes a last day for this offer now what is the offer when you take uh, plus subscription for one year and above students you will be getting a whole half year that is six month free extension okay now students you know this is one of the very amazing offer right just half year extension you are getting for absolutely no cost okay so if you are planning to take the subscription students today is the very right time please go please take the subscription because this is once in a while offer and you can use the code that is r i t i k a c a i v e to get an extra 10 percent discount okay so please go take the subscription and if you need any more information on this republic day special offer you can go to the an academy channel okay and all the information is listed over there so you can use my code okay that is r i t i k a c l i v e to get an extra 10 percent off and also a six month whole free extension so please share this news with all of your friends and also please try to enroll it because this offer it is going to end uh, today itself okay so please go take your subscription and enjoy the perks all right now moving forward let's see the electrolytic reduction of fused aluminia and what does this process carry now this process it is also known as hall herald's process okay okay now again this process again it becomes very important from your examination point of view 
and let's see what do we have in this particular process okay come on now first of all we have electrolytic cell now what is electrolytic cell over here it is a rectangular iron tank okay now it has got a sloping bottom okay there is a reason why this particular structure it has got a sloping bottle bottom i'm sorry because this slope it actually helps to remove all the impurities right uh, i'm sorry it, it helps to remove the molten aluminum so when we have a kind of slope and when temperature is increased or the aluminum it has turned into a molten form it gets removed okay now this tank it is lined with gas carbon okay next we have electrolyte so electrolyte it is a mixture of molten alumina which is approximately 20% then we have a cryolite which has approximately 60% and fluorspar so we will be learning about all these things that what are these things and what do we use it for it consists of 20% okay and also we sprinkle powdered coke okay on the surface of electrolyte so i hope the things are very much clear okay now first thing is we have taken an electrolytic cell okay so it is a kind of rectangular tank which has a sloping bottom for the removal of molten aluminum then this tank it is lined with gas carbon correct then our electrolyte it is a mixture of molten alumina which consists of 20% of whole cryolite it consists of 60% and fluorspar it is 20% and this whole mixture it is sprinkled with powdered coke next is the temperature so the temperature it is maintained approximately at 950 degrees celsius and this temperature is maintained by electrical heating and the voltage it is approximately 5 to 6 volts okay now why do we use low voltage okay so that can be a question over here that why low voltage so i just write here so low voltage why to avoid decomposition of the molten cryolite okay so these are the basic things okay let's quickly see what are the things that we have taken we have taken an electrolytic cell which is a rectangular tank okay with a sloping bottom okay the tank it is lined with gas carbon and electrolyte it is a mixture containing molten alumina cryolite and fluorspar so we also sprinkle a powdered coke okay and the temperature it is maintained by electrical heating uh, at approximately 950 degree celsius the voltage it is maintained low to avoid the decomposition of molten cryolite so it is approximately from 5 to 6 volt now this is the basic setup which is done okay you can see this is okay i'll just show you this is the carbon no okay this is aluminum which you can see over here now here we have liquid aluminum metal this is iron tank which we have taken as electrolytic cell okay and you can see over here this red colored i am just shading it to show you okay so this is the carbon plaster cathode hope the things are clear now let's see what are the reactions that take place and how do we get aluminum from here okay 
So first of all, we have taken cryolite. Okay. So what are the reactions that go here? These are the reversible reactions, of course. So we have 3Na positive plus Al positive plus 6 and fluorine ion. Okay. Then for fluorspar, we have CaF2. So it goes like, it gives calcium ions and fluorine ions. And aluminia, it gives Al2O3, it gives what? 2Al positive plus 3 oxygen ions. Okay, now let us see what are the reactions that happen over here and what are the positive ions that are formed. So, this is the reaction which has taken place. Now, what are the positive ions formed? We have first of all calcium, sodium and aluminium. So, we have sodium ion, calcium ion and aluminium. Okay. And what are the negative ions which are formed? fluorine and oxygen okay now aluminium since it is uh, lower okay it lies a bit lower in uh, electrochemical series or the reactivity series it is discharged at cathode and we get uh, oxygen at anode okay now what are the reactions happening at cathode and anode let us see so at cathode what happens okay first of all let's talk about what is cathode so this is here the inner carbon lining of the electrolytic cell okay now this is the cathode which you can see over here okay so this is the inner lining of the electrolytic cell so what are the reactions which take place over here it is inner lining of electrolytic cell now let's see what are the reactions that take place over here so here we have so we are getting aluminium over here okay then at anode what do we have okay at anode first of all let's talk about where is anode so anode it is present over here so you can see the carbon anode here the thick rods okay which are suspended into the electrolyte so first of all what is anode it is thick graphite rods which are suspended into electrolyte now, what are the reactions that take place over here at anode? So, we have 6O2 minus. So, we get oxygen at anode. Okay. So, I hope things are very much clear because it's not very hard. So, here we can get the questions that what are the things or what do we get at cathode or what do we get at anode. So, here we need to be very clear about these things. Okay. Now, there is another important thing. Okay. This anode, it needs to be replaced from time to time. Why? Because it gets oxidized by the oxygen which is evolved at NO. Okay, so what happens is the NO that we saw right now, we just need to change it again and again from time to time. Okay, why? Because it gets oxi oxidized by the oxygen. Now we have got the aluminium which is approximately 99.8% pure. 
okay and we will be doing further purification by the electrolysis method okay hope these things are clear let's quickly revise the whole thing and then we will be seeing what are the reasons for using cryolite powdered coke and floor spa okay so let's quickly have a quick recap so electrolytic reduction of fused aluminia it is also known as hall herolds process now over here there are various things that we take so first it is electrolytic cell which is a rectangular tank which we have taken okay and it has got a sloping bottom so this tank it is lined with gas carbon then electrolyte it is a mixture of molten alumina which is 20% then cryolite and floor spar and this mixture it is um, you know is, uh, there is a powdered coke which is sprinkled over it the temperature it is maintained at 950 degrees celsius by electrical heating and the voltage okay so that's a uh, important question that why is voltage kept low to avoid the decomposition of the molten cryolite so voltage is approximately kept at 5 to 6 volts so these are the reactions which take place okay now aluminium as i told you since it is lying lower in electrochemical series it is discharged at cathode and we get oxygen at anode so let's see what are the reactions so we get that is aluminium at cathode and at anode which are the thick rods of graphite okay which are suspended into the electrolyte okay so we have here and here we have oxygen at anode okay now anode here this anode it is oxidized to carbon monoxide and this again forms carbon dioxide so what happens over here we have first of all carbon monoxide and from carbon monoxide we get what carbon dioxide and this anode it needs to be replaced because of the oxidizing okay it gets oxidized because of the oxygen which is in, evolved at NO and then it uh, we have aluminium which is 99.8 percent pure and we do for further purification by electrolysis process okay i hope things are very much clear now let's talk about cryolite first of all so what is the function of cryolite so these are the three important questions that can arise that why do we use cryolite why do we use floor spar and why do we use powdered coke so let us see their reasons one by one so cryolite it lowers the fusion temperature first of all it lowers the temperature approximately from 2050 degree celsius it brings down to 950 degree celsius and next reason is it enhances conductivity okay so because of good conductivity and the property of lowering the temperature we use cryolite sorry next is floor spar and cryolite so again cryolite it is used with floor spar why first of all they act as solvent for the electrolytic mixture so they act as solvent for electrolytic mixture okay now it again increases the conductivity so why do we need to increase conductivity students because if i talk about the pure alumina it is non conductor okay so we need a good conductor over here and phosphor and cryolite they increase or they enhance the conductivity okay next is the powdered coke 
So what do we use powdered coke for? First of all, we are sprinkling it over the surface of the electrolytic mixture. But why do we sprinkle it? First is it reduces heat loss. which happens by radiation and it prevents anode from burning. So it prevents burning of anode. Okay. Now let us see again what are the reasons we are using cryolite, fluorspar and uh, powdered coke. So cryolite it is used to lower the temperature and also to increase the conductivity. Fluorspar and cryolite they act as solvent. Okay, so for electrolytic mixture we need a solvent and therefore we use fluorspar and cryolite. Also, they are used to enhance the conductivity. And powdered coke it is used to first of all reduce the loss of heat by radiation and it also prevents burning of anode. Hope that is clear. Okay, now we have a flow chart to see what are the processes that are undertaken in the case of the process of electrolytic reduction of fused aluminium okay so let us see first of all let's go for with very starting okay we have taken ore okay and that was bauxite okay so what's the formula for bauxite we have Al2O3 dot 2H2. Okay, after that, what did we do? After that, it went for concentration by sodium hydroxide. Okay, and why to obtain Al2O3? Now, what are the reactions that take place over here? Let us see. So, the reactions which go on here, it is, we have taken sodium hydroxide, okay. The temperature, it is maintained approximately at 150 degrees Celsius to get sodium meta aluminate plus water. Now, this sodium meta aluminate we take and dissolve it and we cool it to get sodium hydroxide plus the precipitate of aluminium hydroxide. Okay, and this aluminium hydroxide precipitate, when we give a thousand degree Celsius temperature, we get Al2O3 plus 3H2. So, these are the reactions which happen over here. Then comes what? Then comes the process of, so after this, third process is of electrolytic reduction. Of alumina. Now, what are the reactions that we see? First of all, the electrolyte, uh, it's alumina, cryolite and fluorspar. Okay, now at cathode, what do we get? Then at anode, we get okay. All right, now at the last, it goes for purification. Again, it is done by electrolysis method. Okay, so at again cathode, we have Al3 plus plus electrons. It gives Al. And at anode, we have Al minus 3 electrons. It gives Al3 plus. So this is the whole method of obtaining the pure aluminium. Okay, I hope the processes are very clear. Let's quickly see the process in whole and then we will be seeing some of the important questions that can be asked from this particular uh, topic extraction of aluminium, right? So, let's quickly go through the chapter.
Okay, so first of all, metallurgy. What is metallurgy? This is the process of extraction of the metals in their purest pure forms. Okay, from their ores. Now, aluminium. We are studying about so aluminium. It has got a mass of twenty-seven. It's silvery white metal, having atomic number of thirty. Electronic configuration of aluminium. It is two a three, which gives it a valency of three. It's located in third period of group three a. That is group thirty. Okay. Now we have uh, first of all aluminium. Okay, it's reactive, so we do not find it in the free state in nature. So it is extracted from the main ore, which is bauxite, having the formula of Al two O three dot two H two O. In the bauxite, we have approximately sixty percent of aluminium oxide, and the other forty percent it is consisting of sand, ferric oxide, titanium oxide, etc., etc. Okay, so first of all, we go for the purification of bauxite ore, and this process it is also referred to as Bayer's process. Now, in this, we convert the bauxite ore into alumina. Now here bauxite it is finally grinded okay we uh, converted it to powder form and we heat it to remove all the volatile impurities then after you know removing the volatile impurities we heat this particular thing under pressure with concentrated sodium hydroxide approximately for 2 to 8 hours and this process it is known as leaching so with this process we get sodium meta aluminate so this bauxite it dissolves to form sodium meta aluminate and uh, it leaves behind some of the impurities which are known as red mud now red mud it contains ferric oxide sand which we remove by the process of filtration after this we uh, dissolve uh, the sodium meta uh, meta aluminate with water and we cool this mixture to 50 degrees celsius Okay, now it get hydrolyzed to give what sodium? I'm um, sorry, aluminium hydroxide as a precipitate. So we get get a precipitate of aluminium hydroxide, and then we filter this uh, precipitate. We wash it, dry it, and then we ignite it at approximately thousand degree Celsius to get what alumina. Now we have alumina over here, and Now there is another important question that we need to reduce aluminium oxide, right? But why cannot we reduce it using carbon, carbon or monoxide or hydrogen? So here the answer will be uh, since it is a very stable compound, it cannot be reduced easily. Okay, so we need a strong process which is electrolytic reduction. Okay, for reducing the alumina. Now, before going on to alumina, I will again remind you the amazing offer. Okay, so you know, students, it is twenty seventh of January. That means the last day. If you take a subscription of one year, you will be getting six month free extension. Okay, now this uh, offer, you know, it's only applicable when you take the plus subscription for one year or above. So please go for it. You you are getting six months. free right and you can use my code that is r i t i k a c l i v e to get an extra 10% off right now let's talk about hall herold's process which is the electrolytic reduction of fused alumina so here we are taking electrolytic cell which is a rectangular tank having sloping bottom and this tank it is lined with gas carbon As electrolyte, we take a mixture of molten alumina, uh, cryolite, and fluor spar in the ratio of one is to three is to one. Okay, and we sprinkle over here a powdered coke. The temperature it is maintained at 950 degrees Celsius, and the voltage is approximately five to six volt to avoid decomposition of molten cryolite. Okay, so these are the reactions which actually take place. Okay, now we need to first of all uh, replace the anode from time to time because it gets oxidized. Okay, and aluminium which we have, it's ninety nine percent pure, and we purify uh, it further by electrolysis. Now, why do we use cryolite? It lowers the temperature. It gives a good conductivity. 
Fluorspar and cryolite, they both act as a good solvent, okay, and also they enhance conductivity. The powdered coke, it reduces heat loss and prevents the burning off. And so this is a flow chart of the process that we saw just now. Okay, just have a look and then we will be having some of the important questions from this particular topic. Right? Okay, so moving on to our questions. Let's see what our first question is. So state the reason for addition of caustic alkali to bauxite or during the purification of bauxite. So, why do we use uh, caustic uh, alkali? So, why? The bauxite, it dissolves in caustic alkali to form what? Sodium meta aluminate. Now, that is soluble. Okay. So, sodium meta eliminate so we can write it is soluble and the impurities which we have they remain unreacted and we remove all these impurities by filtration method So what is the reaction that happens? We are having bauxite plus sodium hydroxide. Now we get what? Sodium metaluminate which is soluble plus water. So this is soluble and all the impurities which are you know not reacting which have not reacted we remove it using the filtration method next question is aluminum ore contain impurities and explain how are these impurities removed so what is the process we saw to remove the impurities it was Bayer's process Okay, now what are we doing here? We are taking bauxite. We are heating. Now we are heating with what? Sodium hydroxide. And what do we get? We get sodium meta aluminate. Now this is soluble. Okay, so I can write over here it is soluble. Now after that what I doing on the hydrolysis we get what aluminium hydroxide it is a white precipitate right so aluminium hydroxide and when we ignite it it gives pure aluminum okay so that is the basic uh, you know um, method of removing the impurities so i'll just tell you again taking bauxite heating it with sodium hydroxide okay uh, we get sodium metaluminate which is uh, pretty soluble in water okay and all the impurities we remove by filtration process and this sodium uh, sodium meta aluminate on hydrolysis it gives a white uh, it gives a precipitate of aluminium hydroxide okay and when we ignite it uh, approximately 2000 degrees celsius we get alumina and the last question describe the role of cryolite in aluminium extraction process so first it acts as a solvent for molten alumina and it reduces melting point or fusion temperature of pure alumina so these are this is the reason why do we use cryolite i hope things are very much clear now telling you a very 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 important uh, information about an academy subscription 
Now students, you know that your term examinations are very soon going to start, right? So it's high time that you start your preparations, you take your preparations seriously. And for that, we have the very amazing Unacademy Plus subscription. Now first of all, before telling you, uh, you know, when should you take it, I will be telling you why should you take it. The why is very important, right? So there are certain reasons which an academy provides, okay, for the students so that they can learn better, they can perform better. First is you can learn from your home. So you can learn from the comfort of your home. You will be having the access to all the courses that you sign up for okay you will be taught by the top educators of india under one platform and you just won't be having the regular classes you will be having your doubt clearing and answer writing sessions on a regular basis now these doubt clearing sessions they will be telling you about you know we will be discussing the doubts okay you can ask your educators you can have a live one-on-one -on -one interaction and you can clear your doubt and answer writing sessions they will be telling you a uh, gist of how to write the proper answers okay how to write effective answers in your examinations next your syllabus will be covered okay and you will be under the mentorship or guidance of your educators right Apart from that, you will be getting all the uh, study material in the PDF format. Plus, you will be having a regular practice test to see how much are you learning and how much you are able to understand. Okay, and then we will be working accordingly. We will be having live test series, okay, and also the batch courses. So you also are going to get your daily practice session, you are going to get your weekly mock test, live quizzes and daily MCQ plus subjective test. So these are the amazing things which gives you answer of why should you subscribe to an academy plus. Now talking about how. So first of all you will be selecting the time duration. Okay, you can go for 6 months, 9 months, 18, 36, 48, whatever time duration you want to go for. Now students, see, uh, with every increasing uh, time duration, your per month cost, it will be reducing. Right? So we have, you know, this uh, cost for 6 months, this is the per month co cost and for 48 months, this becomes your per month cost. It's approximately half right so uh, this is the advantage for a longer duration okay then you can use my code that is r i t i k a c l i v e so this is my educator code and if you use it you will be getting an instant 10% discount next talking about the batches so these are the batches that you will be getting in your plus subscription okay now these are the crash course batches okay and it is going to start from 7th of february so this is acers which is an all subject batch in english okay and it is going to start from 7th of february now here students chemistry will be taken by me biology will be taken by shikha ma'am and physics will be taken by ma'am ayushi right now students, if you subscribe for grade 10, you will be getting the subscription of grade 11 and 12 absolutely free. So this is again a very amazing offer that you are getting. Okay, two classes subscription you are getting for free of course. And please uh, note the timings and the days very carefully. Okay. All right, then we have the Unacademy free special class. So what is so special about this class? So in this class, you can have, first of all, real-time conversation, real-time interaction with your educators using chats and emojis. Okay. Now, next you can have poll leaderboards. That is, you can compete with your friends. So what are poll? Uh, you know, the uh, educators, they ask you certain questions in the uh, uh, classes and you got to answer them and we have leaderboards also to tell about what is your position in the group 
okay so you can see how many answers you have given correctly what is your time duration okay and what is the leaderboard like who's standing for a second whatever next apart from this you can also ask a question using the question tab so if you have any question you can either attach an image or you can type a question okay and you can post it so that your educators can answer those questions okay now how to watch my free special class so for that first you need to download the unacademy learner app when you install it you will just click on get started and you will be entering your mobile number and otp okay now you will be signing up using your email id that is you will be entering your name your email address your state and etc okay then you will be selecting the goal that you are preparing for so in your case it will be the grade 6th to 12th okay and after that you will be selecting your class and your board then you will be selecting your preferred language that is if you want to learn in english hindi or both that is english okay select your preferred language okay now students in this video in the description of this video you are having a special class link so if you click on that link there will be a pop up which will uh, you know uh, um, come up and it says notify me so if you click on notify me you will be notified just 10 minutes before the class begins and you can use my code which is so this is my code which you can use to unlock the special class for free of cost okay so i hope that you might have understood everything now let's have a quick revision of or a quick recap of what other things that we have covered in our today's session okay so we were learning about the metallurgy right okay so first of all what is metallurgy metallurgy is the process in which you know we are uh, taking out the elements uh, we are we are purifying it refining it okay and we are making a ready to use element okay so from the ore uh, the process that uh, you know the metals undergo to have a purest form it is uh, under the topic or it is under the uh, metallurgy now in this today we basically learned about extraction of aluminium so aluminium as you know it is you know very reactive so we do not find uh, it in free state so there has to be a perf you know procedure that needs to be followed so for purification we learned the bayer's process which was basically for the purification okay now what did we learn here we learned how to convert the bauxite into sodium metaluminate and then sodium metaluminate it was okay so rajendra says ma'am notes kaise mile uh rajendra you will be getting these notes in your classes right so for that you have to download the app okay and you can be getting the notes over there all right i hope uh, this thing is very much clear to you now next uh, this sodium metaluminate it is uh, uh, converted to sodium hydroxide and then we convert it into pure alumina then we learned hall herold's process for the electrolytic reduction okay so in this process we uh, the alumina it goes electrolytic reduction okay we have taken electrolyte as uh, alumina cryolite and fluorspar then electrodes are the pure uh, i'm sorry carbon lining it acts as cathode the graphite rods they act as anode and temperature is 950 degrees celsius the products that we get is pure aluminum at cathode and oxygen at anode okay so this was the process that we followed we saw and we did some of the important questions so i hope that you might have understood all the questions and all the process that we learned for today we will be meeting in the next class in which we will be learning a bit more about the metallurgy so till then please keep studying keep learning please download the unacademy learner app you can get it on google play store or app store and you can try all these features for free 
and also share this video with your friends so that many students can take advantages of the sessions that go on here. So students, let's meet in our next session. Okay, keep learning till then, keep revising and if you have got any doubt, please let me know in the chat box and also join the Telegram channel to get the regular updates of the amazing offers and the classes that go on at an academy. Thank you. Let's meet in the next class. Bye-bye. Take care.